if you go to help, and by the way, that was basically the quick two second overview of the interface. Of course, there's a lot of other stuff, but like I said, I'm going to be covering those as we need them, as not to overwhelm you guys right now. So what I'm going to teach you guys right now are just little tips that I don't know, you, you guys are probably going to thank me for because they're just going to make your experience developing apps a whole lot better. First is if you go to help and you scroll down to default key map references, let me actually minimize this, although I don't think it'll matter. What it's going to do is it's going to give you a PDF of all of the keyboard shortcuts that you can use for the program. So again, of course, I'm not going to go over any of these right now because that would just be dumb and boring. So instead, what I recommend is actually printing this out, laminating it, and putting it on every single wall in your room because these are incredibly useful and you're going to be using them a lot. But actually, for these tutorials, I don't like to use keyboard shortcuts because if like a window pops up and then you guys just see my mouse in the same place, you're like, okay, how the heck did you do that? And I don't know, it just gets confusing whenever I'm teaching but they will be useful to you. Now, another thing that I want to show you guys that probably a lot of you guys are uh, itching to do is change the theme of your entire Android Studio. I know a lot of you like a dark theme, so let me show you how to do that right now. If you go to File, Settings, and this was something else. All right, so File, Settings, and if you go to Appearance, and then Theme, by default, this is IntelliJ or whatever it is. Windows one is pretty much um, a lighter theme, but the font's a little bit different. In Darkula, um, I don't want to change it because my screen recorder is probably gonna tweak out if I change the entire theme. But right now, I'm gonna keep this one because I love it. Darkula is the dark one that you guys might be looking for. Windows, if you like really ugly, stupid looking font, then you can choose that too. So of course, after this, you would just hit apply and then okay, but I like mine, so I'm just gonna can't, actually, while I'm in here, I'll talk to you guys about a few more things. All right, so first of all, actually, let me back out of here so you guys can see what I'm talking, what I'm about to teach you. All right, so first of all, whenever we're working with a text file, just go ahead and click any Java file to open up. We're not going to be talking about the source code right now, but I'm going to be showing you guys some useful things of how to actually work with it. As you can see, the gutter on the left hand side, for some reason, and I'm not sure why, but every IDE and every text editor um, pretty much that I ever downloaded, it doesn't show the line numbers by default. I have no idea why they do that because I always love looking at the line numbers. So to display the line numbers on this one, it's actually really easy. Just right click anywhere in the gutter, that's the gray area, and click show line numbers. Pretty sweet, check that out. Now another thing that I absolutely hate is this code folding. That's pretty much when you have a bunch of code, like an entire body of a function or this right here, and it bunches it up for you. Now the reason I hate this is because I love looking at all of the code and also for the tutorials, if you guys are trying to copy the source code and you're like, okay, I need to know what he imported, but oh, that's great. It's all bunched up. It's really annoying even to me and I'm sure it's even more annoying to you. So if you want to get rid of all of the code folding, as it's called, go to file and back in settings. Let me minimize this, make sure you guys see everything. And go to cold, or excuse me, that's console folding. Go to editor under the IDE settings and code folding. And right here, this first checkbox is just to show the code folding outline. And that's that little arrow you can click to either bunch it up or expand it. But I, what I wanna do is I wanna uncheck all of these. So none of my code is gonna be folded. Again, once I apply this, as you can see, my actual area that might um, that you guys can see maybe a little bit bigger but whenever you guys are trying to read my source code in the tutorials then it's gonna make it a whole lot easier so again I highly recommend putting a line numbers on by right clicking showing line numbers and getting rid of code folding because I absolutely hate it personal preference but you know gotta encourage you guys to do the same so in the next couple tutorials 
now that we are kind of more familiar with the interface we can get into the good stuff actually creating an app the interface and um, well it's gonna be awesome so for now thank you guys for watching don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you guys next time